Reporting to you live from 7-Eleven in downtown on 7-Eleven Day, July 11th. It's live from last week, episode 81. Let's go! Welcome me, my fellow Geowalkers, to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week I served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. Want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So earlier this morning, after getting off from my night shift, on the street right beside my work, I saw a yellow New York City taxi cab in the background. And I was thinking, why would this car be here in Toronto? But then I remembered there can only be one reason is that I was in the background of a potential TV or movie shoot here in Toronto. But anyways, once I got home, I also remembered that today is July the 5th. And exactly 10 years ago to this date, I gave this little young lady a note saying that I wanted to become her boyfriend. Which means that today, the wife and I are actually celebrating our 10 year dating anniversary. And so when I got home from work this morning, the wife made this amazing breakfast to help celebrate the occasion. But then after my post night shift nap, we were both thinking that maybe we might go out for dinner tonight or tomorrow night. And to decide, we went online to this Wheel of Fortune kind of website and have this wheel decide if we were gonna have a celebratory dinner tonight. And after landing on yes, saying that we're gonna have dinner tonight before the wife goes in for her night shift, we checked out to see if one of our favorite restaurants was open. And unfortunately, on Tuesdays, it is closed. What a mistake. So I guess we'll have to wait until tomorrow to have our anniversary dinner. And well, after dropping off the wife for her night shift tonight and greeting you guys like this, this evening, happy 10 year date anniversary. I'm planning to surprise the wife with a couple of gifts tomorrow morning. So after dropping her off, I went to a local flower shop in the area and tried to look for some of our favorite flowers called peonies. But honestly guys, I really don't know how to pick the right flowers. So I just closed my eyes, grabbed a bunch, and I'm hoping that these flowers that I'm gonna give to her will bloom just in time for the morning. I also made my way to my local party city, checked out their big selection of balloons, and picked out this one to be inflated for my surprise to come tomorrow morning. Anyways, before I wrap it up for the night and get ready to surprise the wife tomorrow morning, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of our friends back in the FSAT days. And this birthday shout out goes out to you, John. Happy birthday, Ortega. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Last night, to get ready for my 10 year dating anniversary surprise, I slept on the couch setting up my alarm to get up at the break of dawn, waking up after about 6 hours of sleep, bright and early at around 6am, with this beautiful view outside my window of my condo. And while I was taking this early morning drive, I took the mini and the beautiful happy anniversary balloon that I bought her last night and made my way to a local joint that serves 24 hour breakfast, the hot spot that we've been to before called T-Bones where I ordered steak and eggs for breakfast and delivered it all the way downtown to where the wife was working. Then I set myself up just outside of her work, waiting for her to come off her shift, getting ready to surprise her with the food, the happy anniversary balloon, as well as a bouquet of peonies, which she told me earlier was her favorite kind of flowers. And after getting this reaction video of her, happy 10 year date anniversary wife. <laughs> and I got food for us. Yeah. Breakfast. Oh, I, am not holding I know. And taking this nice photo of her with the gifts that I brought to her this morning, we got back to Scarborough and enjoyed this delicious T Bones meal from the comfort of our home. And after taking a quick nap, knowing that the wife and I will be going out again later on tonight for an all you can eat buffet, I got back on the bike to try to burn a couple of extra calories before we go out for our big anniversary meal. Which is actually at this restaurant that was closed yesterday, but is open today at one of our favorite ace restaurants called Tatami. <laughs>
And believe it or not guys, but the wife and I actually encountered a first today. It was the first time we actually ordered too much at an all-you-can-eat buffet and had to pay for the leftovers that was left on our table. But the good thing was, once we paid the fee for not finishing the leftover food, we got to actually package and take home the remaining items to, well, bring home with us. And as a plus, the wife got to take to go her green tea ice cream for dessert and enjoy it while I was driving in the Mini. But anyways, it's time to rest up and go into an all-you-can-eat buffet coma, pass out for the night, and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. So I don't know if you guys remember this scene from last week's episode. We have come to the conclusion that my new kicks that I bought just last week just may be the real reason why I have been feeling so much pain in my feet over the past four night shifts. But yeah, those Converse shoes that I bought a couple weeks ago were really giving me some sore feet. To the point that, to this day, the joints in my toes still feel a little bit numb with a sense of pins and needles to the tips of my toes. So today, I'm at a local Scarborough sneaker shop called Today's Sportswear to see what I can do to replace those Converse All-Stars that I have as my work shoes. And while I was looking up and down the aisles to see what are the perfect shoes I could wear for work, grabbing a couple shoes here and there, here and there, and here and there, I finally decided on these babies. Some Skechers slip-ons which have these comfort insoles as well as having a good work rating for the type of job that I do. So I put these babies on, trying out different sizes and different pairs, strutting up and down the hallways here, put it on a little fashion show, and finally decided that I will take them. But also out of the corner of my eye, I saw something on the wall that really caught my attention. And if you guys can't tell, it was this Toronto Raptors Chinese New Year Edition jersey. Since this version is a rare one of a kind and the product has been discontinued, it's a jersey that I've coveted over the past couple of years. So I got the salesperson to help me take it down. And after a couple of times of trying this baby out and also putting on a short little fashion show for you guys. And guys, don't tell the wife this cause she'll get mad. But I bought a new jersey for my ever-going jersey collection. But anyways guys, I'm pretty excited to try my new work shoes out at work. Seeing that tonight I'm going in for my first of my two night shifts. Doing four shifts in a span of five days. But before I go to work, I have a quick birthday greeting for one of you special guys out there. And this special birthday greeting goes out to my brother-in-law, Josh. Happy birthday, Josh. I'm hoping that you and the family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and we'll catch up sometime soon, my brother-in-law. But yeah, it's time to go in for work, and I'll just catch up with you guys again tomorrow. Guys, today, I've been having a pretty frustrating time. Mainly because it's the Instagram app that I have been having trouble with all day today. So you see, on Fridays, I usually upload my Live From Last Week videos onto Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and Instagram, but for some reason today, while trying to get everything together, and after a whole week of just editing the Live From Last Week videos, I've hit a snag with the Instagram website, trying to upload my video to their page several times already, hoping, just hoping that it would upload onto my Insta page, only to find out that after 15 to 20 minutes of waiting each and every time, I would receive this pop-up on my laptop. But I'm thinking it might not just be Instagram's fault for not being able to upload my videos at this time. Because if you guys haven't heard, Rogers is having a huge outage all over Canada. Along with several articles online outlining just how difficult things are for Rogers customers today. Especially this headline which I thought was pretty funny. I couldn't blame y'all for utilizing that free Wi-Fi guys. But either way, hopefully tomorrow things will be resolved and I'll finally be able to upload this week's Live From Last Week episode up on Instagram. But in other news, the reviews are finally in. Wearing these new babies of a foot investment during my night shift last night have actually reduced the amount of soreness that I've been feeling in my feet compared to my previous night shifts. And actually, I'm pretty excited to go in for my night shift tonight and try out, yet again, my brand new Skechers work shoes. So it's time to get my pre-night shift dinner in 
aka the leftovers from our all-you-can-eat buffet a couple nights ago and we'll see you guys again tomorrow. So going back to yesterday's Rogers network outage, which had affected many Rogers and Rogers subsidiaries phone and internet users, which actually included my wife. As an example of this, just check out the text messages that I sent to her and compare that to how it actually came out on the wife's phone. I never knew that I can text and converse in Chinese characters before. And yeah, this outage last night affected Interact cashless stations and 911 emergency lines. And even The weekend had to postpone his concert just minutes before the event was about to take place. So now maybe I'll be able to get tickets to his postponed concert seeing that I actually was working last night. Anyways, on to today, where I was able to attend Saturday Vigil Mass at a church that I always pass by whenever I'm going to and from work the Our Lady of Fatima Shrine Parish in Scarborough. And after Mass, when I was coming home, I noticed that on the street in front of where I live, they've put up some mini speed limit signs to help reduce speeding on this residential street, which I truly appreciate for the safety of pedestrians. Also, coming home and realizing that the wife is in Mississauga for the weekend, I had to figure out what to have for dinner at home on my day off. And seeing that I had some HelloFresh ingredients in the fridge, I decided for the first time to try to cook one of these meals by myself without the wife's supervision. Try this baby guys. I'm hoping that it's cooked. Mmm. Actually not that bad. Guys, to be honest, that HelloFresh veggie burger meal that I made actually wasn't that bad. But overall, I'm just glad that I didn't burn down the condo while the wife was away this weekend. Anyways, for now, I'm gonna wrap up today's segment, leaving you guys with this evening's very beautiful sunset. And I'll catch you guys again tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. After a nice 45 minute bike ride from Scarborough to Saga, I am now here at the Heartland Town Center to go for a celebratory birthday lunch for my brother-in-law. But I gotta figure out where this place is. They said to meet at Kanji Queen today. So I stopped by Jollibee for a little bit, tried to look for directions to this place, and actually found out that Kanji Queen is right there. But yeah, I'm pretty hungry, so let's go get some birthday lunch with the Saga fam. So after a great lunch over at Conjure Queen today, recalling this scene a couple weeks back, I recently got a note from my tita that my brother-in-law just welcomed a brand new puppy to the family. And I can't wait to see this little one in person in the near future. Well, now we're in Saga and let's see what happened just a couple of minutes ago. Ooh, let's check out this new guard dog they have here in Saga. Hey Sesame! I don't know how to take this out. Should I let the dog out? Okay. Hi dog! Hi! 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 Hi Sesame! Come here! Alright. 
right, he's biting my stuff. You want kiss? You want kiss? Kiss! All right, where do you want to go? Now that you put your pee all over. So after playing with the new guard dog for a little bit, channeling my inner Caesar Milano being a dog whisperer, sit. Good dog, good dog. Hey, that's my keys. And teaching the new pup new tricks. Over here, over here. All right, Sesame, sit. Sit. Good dog, yeah. I was able to take a quick pre-night shift nap and have some dinner at the Saga's brand new renovated bar that they have there in the kitchen before ending up here in downtown Toronto to go in for my first of my two night shifts. So we'll just wrap up today's segment right here and I'll see you guys again tomorrow morning. So guys, scratch that because it's actually Monday afternoon. And I have a quick birthday greeting to one of our family friends out there. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Sam. Happy birthday, Samantha. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. As well, along with her birthday today, if you guys didn't know, today is July 11, aka 7-11 day. So, post night shift, I wanted to make my way to the closest 7-11 store and take advantage of their promotion that they have every year on this day. And as you guys can tell, I was just so excited that I couldn't even handle my Slurpee cup this morning. But once I regained my composure, I was able to pour out for myself this free blueberry yuzu lemonade Slurpee. As well as shoot this video. Woo! It's 7-Eleven day. Don't forget to get your free 7-Eleven Slurpee at your local 7-Eleven. And unfortunately, while I was preoccupied making videos and being too excited to try out my brand new Slurpee, I ran out of the store forgetting that I also needed a straw. So I did the next best thing, and just before having to pay for this morning's side street parking at 8 a.m., I slurped up my blueberry Slurpee just like a puppy. Ooh, sour, but really good. Happy 7-Eleven day, everyone. I also celebrated the rest of my 7-Eleven day by enjoying my commute home from work with, in my hand, my obvious nutritious breakfast to go. And after not being able to finish all of it this morning, this afternoon, I'm enjoying the rest of my Slurpee with an actual straw that I found at home. But yeah, guys, I'm going to wrap up this week's episode right there. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow to your Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.